are you talking about bottom feeding for? You already been out here and got your lot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, number one came from right there. That was my burn cow. Number two, right there. And number three, right in the hole. I'm not sure. I think you're right. What's that say, bookstore? Bottom feeder. Well, we are back out swinging today, and uh, it's me. You can see Ace there, and we also have Chris Alexander. We brought him out to one of our permissions since he was so uh, gracious to take us out to one of his. And uh, we're in a set of woods that uh, Ace has hit up and found just a ton of bullets and some other Civil War uh, relics and things like that. So we're gonna be kind of focusing right in here. But before we really get started, uh, Ace had found two sort of impressions and uh, believes they could be Cumberland holes, which we've done a little research and discovered that uh, troops, when they were camping, when they were getting ready to move, uh, so as to hide valuables or hide maybe evidence that they were in the area, they would dig these big holes and, uh, and bury stuff down in it. We don't know if that's what it is or not, but we are gonna start by digging one out. Uh, there's two here right beside one another, and I'll show you what they look like. We're getting something down deep with our detectors, but we're not sure what it is, but uh, we're gonna dig them up and we're gonna see what's in there before we keep going. And I'll show you the hole right now. All right, well, this is one of the holes, and I know it's kind of hard to probably see, but there is an indention here in the ground, and uh, over where Alexander is, there's another one, and he's been uh, swinging it. We're not really getting strong targets out of them, uh, or any target signal, but we are getting something. And so we're gonna dig it up, and if we find anything, we will let you know. Well, we'll let you know one way or the other, just so you uh, don't have to think about it. All right, we'll be right back in just a few minutes. Well, the guys are going to start on the other one and uh, see what happens there. This one turned out nothing. We're down in the ground probably about a foot and a half and just not really getting any strong signals. You can see that we're getting down into clay and a little bit of shale rock. And uh, we just don't believe that uh, we have found a Cumberland hole here. Uh, you never know, but um, we don't think we have one here. So they're gonna try this other one and uh, we'll come back in when we get it cleared out and see if we have anything. Be right back. So we dug out the other one and we've already filled it back in as you can see. Um, same situation, just got down into some clay and uh, didn't have any signals, no targets, no readings at all. So we're moving on and we're gonna start swinging through these woods. We do believe there was a camp up here from the finds that Jason has found. So we're gonna see what happens and we'll come back in as soon as we find something. See you in a little minute. Here is my first relic. It's just a piece of horseshoe, but uh, pretty old one for up in these woods and uh, could be from troops, Civil War troops, not sure, but it's my first of the day, first find here of the day, so. Maybe we'll get some more good stuff, maybe better. Just got me a real iffy signal, and uh, you know, th these woods really aren't full of trash. And there's some shotgun shells and uh, some cans every so often, but not much. And so we're really just focusing on digging every signal. And glad I did, even though this was a really uh, kind of funky signal, but you see here I got a little buckle I don't know how old it is, but uh, pretty cool. It's a little better than a horseshoe anyway, but awesome. Awesome. Well, we'll come back in, we get some more stuff. <laughs> Ace is on the board. Where at? Nice. Yeah, you did call it. You said you had a bullet. Sure enough. Sure enough. Good one, man. 
Big old pistol bullet. Civil War. Good job. Good find. Thank you. Good find. Oh, yeah. Good job, man. Thank you. Got me another find, and uh, you can kind of see the shape of it. I believe uh, it's a drawer pull. Uh, you know, it kind of looks like, I believe, what they're called, uh, like a collar stud. I don't think that's what it is. I do think it's maybe a drawer pull um, or something like that. But pretty cool little piece, especially to find out here in the middle of these woods. Not sure what that means, but uh, hopefully it means there's jewelry coming. Maybe it was a jewelry pull box or a drawer pull. Who knows? But uh, we're starting to have some pretty good finds so far. Check back in with you soon. I just got me a first, and I'm really pumped about it. Good signal. Popped it up, and it looks like it's a burn side with still some casing on it. Oh man, good bit of casing on it too. Oh, that is sweet. Super sweet. Look at that big fat rim around there. Oh man, that is so awesome. My first, first ever Burnside with the casing. That is sweet. On to the next, this is great. Just want to take a little break here for a moment and uh, do a little shout out to Digging the Green Grass, which is a buddy of mine, Martin. Martin's channel um, check it out he uh, he digs across the pond but uh, he finds some awesome relics and uh, some awesome coins that uh, I would die to be able to get over there and dig but check his stuff out it's really great it's really informative he's swinging an equinox he'll let you know all about it he's great with it and uh, he's just a great channel great videos to watch good relic hunter I just got Burnside number two with the casing on it. That is awesome. Going from not having one to now having two. That's the way it goes. Man, that's great. Another great find out here in these woods. Find these drop bullets. Pretty, right, pretty Chris. awesome. Time to bottom feed them. What are you talking about bottom feeding for? You've already been out here and got your lot. <laughs> 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 All right, well, number one, came from right there of my burn side. Number two, right there. And number three, right in the hole. In the hole. They say good things come in threes? Or is it bad things? Bad things. Oh, well, good things came today. Awesome. Bottom feeder. Bottom feeder. I'm going to go over here and check out what Alexander has. Says he's got a little bullet. Check it out. Let's see. Nice. Very cool, man. What do you reckon that one is? Not sure, really. Yeah, I'm not sure either. I don't know if that's more modern or if it's Civil War era. I'm not too sure. I mean, it certainly looks Civil War era, but... Smaller, huh? Mm-hmm. 30-some, maybe? Maybe 40? Not really sure. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, good find anyway. Mm -hmm. Good job, brother. Thanks. Just popped plug, and I got something. I'm not sure what it is yet. It's round, and it's green, but I don't think it's a coin. It looks a little too thick for that. I'm not sure, but let's see what it is. Oh, it's a little ring. Oh boy. Yeah, not sure what it is. Some kind of 
ring of some kind. It's a great signal. Oh well, keep on a rolling. No, no jacket. No jacket. Because, you know, sometimes that jacket on there, they come up pretty strange. Sure enough, that's a burn sign. Good job, Chris. Yeah, I mean, it's, right there's his pistol bullet. No kidding. Good one, brother. Thank you. Yeah, man. He's gonna walk away from it. I told him to dig it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what good friends are for, right? Actually, next time, I'm just gonna let him walk away and I'm digging That's it. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> that was a freebie right there. <laughs> that was a freebie. <laughs> See what you got? Nice. Just a nice little round ball. Good find. Good find. Good job. Thank you. Mm -hmm, man. Well, just got me a round ball. Right there. Check that thing out. That thing's huge. That might be canister shot. As big as that is. I'm not sure. Maybe canister. Maybe just a big round ball. I don't know. It's a good find though. Very good find. We're having an awesome day here. Pretty cool. Yeah. Ace popped in the bullet. Oh, there it is. Can I pluck it out of there? Yeah. I think it's a <clears throat> burn side. Yeah, it seems to be the yeah. story of the day. Right. Cool. Very cool. Man, how awesome to be a find like a whole hole in. Oh, man. I know. That'd be sweet. Yes, it would. Good Thank find. You. Good oh, one. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I was getting ready to leave and leave these two fellas out here to clean up <laughs> after me. And I uh, got a good signal along this tree. Looked right down and I could see it laying on the surface right there. <clears throat> Drop three ringer. Ain't that some stuff? Surface fine. That's pretty awesome. You can see just the side of it that was laying in the ground and the rest of that was just sticking up. Like Chris said, that root must have just pushed it right up out of the ground. That is really awesome. Sweet. Well, I'm coming back in with this bullet because I cleaned out the bottom of it. And check that out. Starbase. Ain't that cool. Washington Arsenal. That is freaking awesome. Surface fine three ringer. Washington Arsenal. That is awesome. <laughs> that is a very cool find. Well, I'm still out of here. I, ain't, I haven't left just yet. And uh, dug me a little bullet. I believe it's a pistol bullet. Looks out of way. I'm not sure if that's modern or period, but... It looks Civil War. Pretty cool. All right, Ace says he's got some roundness and maybe a token. Not sure. I don't know, man. That looks pretty good. Can I get it? Yeah. Hey, you see, look where it was. <clears throat> I'm not sure. I think you're right. What does that say? Bookstore? <laughs> I'm not really sure. It's shining. It's shining through there. We're going to get it cleaned up. We can get a better look at it. And we'll come back in. It says it's got some kind of writing on it. But yeah, we'll be back in just a second. 
Yeah, get that thing brushed up. All right, we got it cleaned up. And it says at the top there, for books and papers, go to Ricky's. And it's got a date of 1868. And it says down at the bottom, cash paid for bags. And then on the back of it, it says Ricky's Bookstore, 326 3rd Street, Dayton, Ohio. You can see the O there at the bottom. That is a pretty neat find for here in the eastern panhandle of West Virginia. And uh, we're going to see if we can find any information on it. And if we find anything interesting, I'll uh, maybe add something to the video. Um, but if not, pretty cool piece, man. Well, Ace is on a hot streak now. Is it the same hole? Right there is where I found it. The token. And right there is where the bullet was. Let me see. I nicked it a little bit. Solid base. Two rings. Dude, I'm not sure. I, I suppose it could be a sharps, but they usually have a little hole in it. I don't see that. What's it got on the bottom? Is it some kind of picture or? No, I don't know. Some sort of vulgar drawing? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't see that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's awesome, though, right there beside of it. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. That's why I was getting such a jumpy signal. I was getting two signals. Yeah, right. right. It's all over the place. I mean, there's the first plug, there's the second plug. Yeah. Well, Ace is on definitely a hot streak. He hasn't moved a foot. Right here, as you can see, where he found the other stuff. And then right here beside it. Oh, it's in the plug. I see it. I see it. It's like a ringtail to me. Yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right. Yep, yeah, that's an old ringtail. Hey, this is my area. <laughs> Don't listen to him, Chris. <laughs> I got signal right here. There you go. Yeah, I mean, they're not much more than two, three inches down. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. All right, well, I am actually going to leave now. But before I go, let me do a box update. All right. Do a box check real quick, see what you got. And you have to send pictures if you get anything else. Yeah. I'm glad I stuck around. Yeah. Oh. Got some good bullets in there. Some lead. For sure. My token. Token. Very good. A couple unidentified pieces. Yeah. I'm not sure what that is. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing. Uh, maybe some. Modern maybe a modern rivet. rivet. Yeah, something like that off a jacket. Yeah. Or yeah. a snap. Is it like a. I could. Like the, couldn't uh, get it apart. I like wasn't yanking right on it too hard. Yeah, I think that's what it is, like a snap, like a cut yeah. snap. That's what it really looks like now. Well, cool. Alexander, what you got? Uh, Show us something. I got those two bullets and I think a mangled up elm ball. Yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. Definitely. It's weird how they turn out like that. Like, I don't know if that's something chewing on it. You know what I mean? Maybe that's what makes them look like that. I don't know. Very good. Very good. All right. Where's yours? Yeah. Hello. What are we doing there? All right. Sure. All right. Here's my stuff. Just some. I'm not sure what this is. Buckle that's not too old. Uh, maybe a drawer pull. I'm not sure, but that's kind of what it looks like. I got uh, a couple bullets, big round ball, drop three ringer, pistol bullet, and my three burn sides, which I'm super, super excited about. That is so awesome. Three in one day, my first ones ever. So that's nice. pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, well, I am going home this time, and uh, the guys are going to stick around. They're going to swing a little bit more. And uh, hopefully they send us a picture or some video or something like that we can add to this video. But uh, we had a great time. 
And uh, as always, thank you so much for checking us out here at Six Day Diggers. And uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And uh, leave a comment. I always love uh, reading the comments. Um, it warms my heart. But uh, it's always cool to hear from everyone. And uh, so we'll see you next time. Bye.